The next product I have actually came to me as a surprise. I thought I would absolutely fall in love. It just didn't feel like it was doing anything for my skin. Hey guys, it's Sue here. Go back to my Chanel. And gosh, don't I look like a doll today? I really got dolled up. Today I thought it would be fun to talk about products that... <sighs> they're not that bad, they're not shitty per se, but I was definitely underwhelmed by them and I wouldn't necessarily recommend them for anyone to buy. Eee, I know. Uh, this is gonna be a fun one, so without further ado, let's get this video started. Alright, starting off with the first one, we have this product from Lanish. Ah! I know guys, Lanish Gosp. Don't get me wrong, I love so many of their products. I love their Keystar products such as Cream Skin, their Waterbank uh, Hyaluronic Cream. Um, I also love their Radiance C Cream. They have such amazing products. And I think that was where the problem was. I had such high expectations because they nail it every time, yes that I think I just had the most absurd expectations for this product as well. So this is the Laneige Phyto Alexin Hydrating Calming Toner. First of all, I will say I love their concept. So basically Phyto Alexin, let me, let's break it down, you know. Phyto means plant, Alexin means in Greek, it means to protect. So basically this is an ingredient, their patented special ingredient that they got from plants because what happens with plants is that when they get stressed, when they get attacked, their immune system it works up to protect themselves and apparently according to their recent studies according to new recent studies it's found that this phytoelectin can also help to protect our immune system and our skin and help calm and help calm it down as well i don't know i got too excited yeah and so i love their whole concept y'all know i love it when brands get original and they don't copy no one else however just for the experience itself, I have hammer mouth. Um, this toner honestly just felt like water. And I just felt like, not that there's anything wrong with a toner feeling like water. I have tons that I personally need love. But it just didn't feel like it was doing anything for my skin. And you know, I, I had so much high expectation. I mean, phytoalexin, plant technology, you know, immune system boosting. It sounds very interesting. But I was just like, it's just waiting for something spectacular to happen and it never did. The good news is that the more and more I use it, I actually do like how it feels. I feel a bit of that viscosity that I just love. And I do feel it's coming a bit and I do feel like it's hydrating, but it's not there yet where I'm just like, you guys need to have this product. I just, I just feel like, you know, there's this distance between us. And even though I was really excited about the phy phytoelixin ingredient, when I looked at the whole ingredient list, the first two ingredient was marine water and bullion glycol, which is better than just purified water. I'll give them that. But the soybean extract, which is the ingredient that they did get the phytoelectin from, is a second to last. There we go. And so I was just like, come on, why don't you put it up there, you know? And so, meh, kind of underwhelmed. That's the word. Yes, I was really underwhelmed by this product. Now, I wouldn't necessarily stop anyone from buying it. Like I said, it's not, it's not absolute piss. And I think this does work better if you use a cotton pad and douse it and kind of wipe your face with it like a toner pad. It does feel it does feel very refreshing. And this does retail for 35,000 won for 320 ml. It's not expensive, but I can already think of so many other big ass toners that are cheaper that will do a better job in calming and that will do a better job in hydrating. I'll link that video up there for you guys to check out. But as a whole, meh, meh. Uh, the second product I have here is this one, ah, CMP. Oh my gosh, I know you guys might be shocked. If you've watched my videos for, for a very long time, you guys might be like, what? I thought you loved this product and I did. Ah. It pains me. It's like going through a breakup. This is the CMP Laboratory Propolis Energy Ampule Mist. And for the whole, I love mist. I think I'm like the only K-beauty creator influencer out there who loves mist. They're kind of like my guilty pleasure. I know you don't need them, but I just love the experience of using them. But going back to this one, this was definitely one of my favorites. This is indeed from the CMP Propolis line, which is the 
Blush. If you have dry skin, dehydrated skin, and you really like that glowy, dewy, skin hydrating skincare, definitely check out their apple. It's just mwah, chef's kiss. And so this was also a product, like I mentioned, that I loved using. It has one of those spa sprays. What? Like this. It just and then it just feels like you're getting pampered at a spa. And it really does smell nice and it has propolis in it, which is a great ingredient, great antibacterial. It's also great for wound healing. So it's awesome product for acne prone skin as well. But alas, our love can no longer continue. And I think what happened was I just developed, I'm just, I'm just developing a really dry skin all like over time. It's just getting drier and drier. I don't like that. I don't know what's happening. I know what's happening. It's aging. But because of that, I just felt like this this felt a little lacking. This is why I think skincare is all about that experience and expectation. I think with this one, my expectation was, you know, really glowy, dewy skin. But this really just feels watery. It's definitely heavier than like the Dr. Jart Sika Repair Mist. That, that that was really like water but my expectation of that is I expect that one to be like water I just I just when I want whenever I want like a refreshing cool mist blast of mist during the summer for example that's the one I reach out to I just think this now feels a little lacking because if I do want something a bit more rich, the one I do reach out for is the Taiba one. My goodness, this one is like a delish oil in a bottle. If you have dry skin and, and you just need like that glowy, dewy skin look, this is the one to reach out for. And what's great is that you don't even need to absorb it in. All I do is I just spray it all over. And then I also have the other one. It's beside my computer. It's at my working desk. That's the one I'm using all the time. So if I want something rich, like I said, this is the one I reach out for and if I want something that's just like that just straight up feels like water something refreshing I would reach out for the Dr. Jart Sika Repair Mist so this now has become a little bit uh, awkward to work with I don't know when I will reach out to use this so it's just become really awkward I know there's a bunch of folks out there who love this product I ain't going to argue with them I used to really really enjoy this myself once upon a time but hey your taste changes your preference changes as we grow older I mean just like with everything food men people change okay I'm so sorry I'm so sorry just to explain more about like the formulation because <laughs> I feel like I didn't really explain that properly um like I said it's really lightweight and because of the way it's sprayed out it feels like what it feels really watery but then the after finish of it is definitely tacky. You can definitely feel a bit of that tackiness there. But for me, I just need something a little bit more fuerte, you know, but stronger. The next product I have actually came to me as a surprise. I thought I would absolutely fall in love with these. And these are these cream amples. The one I have here is by Nine Wishes Hydra Glowing Deep Hydration. And this is actually their new, their latest release. Uh, they released this during the winter. And I got so excited because I love their original Hydra Ample. Let me go get it, guys. Let me go get it. All right, all right, all right. I got it, I got it, I got it. Um, So this is their Hydra Ample. This is just their serum version without the cream and I love I loves the serum. Okay, the angle looks a little different. Let me compose myself. If you just want to hydrate the ass of your, out of your skin, it's great for dehydrated skin, combo skin, dry skin types. So this is awesome. And so obviously I had the greatest expectations. Once again, skincare is all about, well, actually everything in life is about expectations and whatnot. And I bought this at Olivia. I was like, I can't wait to try you. And with this one, just to get into the little deets, this does have hyaluronic acid, 3000 Dalton as a matter of fact and it has coconut extract water as its first ingredient and coconut extract is rich in vitamins vitamin b2 vitamin b3 and vitamin c so it's a great 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 ingredient but when i actually tried this out i just felt like it was dwelling on top like the formula feels very like oily and it has more of that oil creamish fat content and i just felt like instead of really just seeping into the skin it just felt like it was dwelling on top forever like when are you absorbing when are you like going in you know that's what she said <laughs> So I think I was just a little bit disappointed. I think if you're looking for like a rich 
ample or serum to experience i'd say like the kuoka one even though it's hella expensive this is also a nice rich serum and you can definitely feel that fatty content and it just works beautifully and it blends in super fast i'm not here waiting forever wondering when this is going to be over that's what she said as well <laughs> Or I would actually rather recommend the Dear Clear's Fundamental Watery Oil Drop. This is also a combination of water and oil. But because I don't use a whole amount when I use this, this does a better job of absorbing it. But that's, you know, is expected from this product because it's oil drop, it's not serum. So it's all about what kind of experience you're expecting with each naming, each product, etc, etc. And so because this is a serum, I do use more of the product. And because of that, maybe that might be a factor that I'm having a harder time absorbing in. But it's a serum. That's that's how you're supposed to use it, right? I think this experience that I'm having, it's not specific to this one. I'm having, I'm facing the a very similar experience with all of these cream amples that a lot of brands are putting out there. And so I was kind of disappointed. Uh, the next one is not skincare, but it's definitely K-Beauty. And it is the Etude collaboration with Loacker. Loacker? How do you guys pronounce it? In Korea, we say Loacker. So I did receive this from the brand as a gift. And inside, you get these four quads. And so there are three types. And the packaging of these palettes are made so that it reminds you of the actual waffle snacks. Oh, I love, I love them, by the way. They're delish. I, I used to live off of them when I was in college, but anyways. And so I was really excited to try them out. I love Etude House collabs, Etude palettes, everything. But I was so underwhelmed, especially with the number one, because the payoff was so non-existent. I mean, I will say nowadays the trend in Korea is um, a lot of people are using these really muted pastel colors and we all love that blended out subtle look. On the whole, I was expecting them to be kind of on the subtle side, but I didn't expect them to be like non-existent, like I said. It's like, what is going on at Tweet House? Especially this one, like, these two colors are like, I don't see anything happening. I mean, that is an exaggeration. Obviously, you're going to see a little bit of payoff, but I was a little disappointed. Now, I would say it's not as bad, like, the number two with the darker shade. The payoff is a lot better, like, fuerte. So, it's not all of these products that are bad. When I got these, I was actually going to do a giveaway because I love spoiling you guys. And, you know, I already have so many eye palettes and I wanted to share them with you guys and give them as a gift but the quality wasn't as good as, good as I thought so I couldn't do a giveaway because obviously when I give something to you guys I want them to be good and so these are just sitting in my drawer a little sad but I will say their blushers and their lip colors are oh so nice I mean like the payoff for, with the blushers and the lip they're so much nicer than the palette so I don't know what happened there I, this is a blush I have on today isn't it so pretty lovely definitely recommend and I also am wearing their lip color so once again this is the color vanilla oh sorry and the blush is called number two Napolitana such a lovely color if you have more of a warm undertone I am power warm tone in Korean. This is definitely a color you can reach out to. Now, to be honest, I haven't tried out the uh, yogurt one. I will definitely leave in the subtitles right here of how it was. All right, guys, that was it for today's video. If you also have experienced any products that you were kind of disappointed about, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to know. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next. Ciao!